Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tiffany coming at you guys again with another video. Uh, this week, I think we're going to hop into Canva and overlays. I see a lot of folks in the various Facebook groups um, that I'm in for 360 Photo Boost asking about overlays, how to do them. I see folks marketing, you know, selling overlays and all that stuff in the comments. And I'm always like a little puzzled because I literally, you know, taught myself how to do overlays pretty quickly. Um, and I'm hoping I can save you guys some time and money as well, just kind of going through some of the little tips and tricks and things that are available to you to make some overlays. Obviously, when you get to some of the more complex um, overlays, the ones that, you know, kind of have motion and all that stuff, then maybe you might want to farm that out. But I'd say by and large, 80 to 90% of the overlays that you'll need for your 360 photo booth business, you should be able to do your stuff. So I'm here to help you out with that. So we're going to hop right in and show you that on the computer here. All right, so we're hopping right on over to first things first, touch picks. So I logged into my touch picks because we want to start here so we can figure out what size um, of template are we working with. So that'll determine what we want to choose in Canva as our dimensions for our overlay. All right, so just to give you guys an example, I'm going to hop into the designer here on touch picks. So you can see the different options. Sorry, my head is covering some of this, but... Obviously, TouchPix has five different templates. I've used uh, probably uh, two or three of them. I started off doing the 1072 by 1920 and then more recently started doing the square and this uh, 1440 by 1072. But for the purposes of this example, we're going to pretend as if we're doing the square. So we're just going to do 1072 by 1072. I like this one um, for Canva. A lot of the basic overlays come in a square anyway. So we're going to pretend like we're using template three. So I'm going to hop out of here, go on over to Canva. And I'm going to start from scratch. I will give you guys a tip. One of the um, things that I like to do is I create the templates for different types of events. So, um, for instance, right now you're looking at my Canva account. Uh, I do have, <clears throat> excuse me, I do have a wedding template, 1072. Um, if you go through here, I have holiday overlay templates for, you know, so whatever the type of event is, I'll create that template. And then as I tinker around with it, I'll keep all of my different ones that I played around with that a client didn't select. So for instance, I'm gonna open up my wedding template to give you an idea. So these are all the templates that I created for weddings. Typically, I'll give each uh, client three options or three variations. And obviously the one that they pick is great, but the other two, you know, that's, that's fair game for another event, right? So I'll keep these all in here and I have, you know, the type of event by the size of the template. And so that way I might have if I want to switch to that template, I think it was template four. If I want to do that, all I have to do is click that resize button in there, put in the new dimensions, and then it'll take this these ideas and create new templates. Uh, so I do also want to point out that I am on the Canva, I guess it's Canva Pro is what it's called, but I pay like the $13.99 subscription um, every month so that I can have access to you know the additional options that come with the that Canva subscription. For me, it's a must have um, because I like as far as like pictures and stuff like that, being able to take out backgrounds, um, it gives you access to a ton of different type of graphics, um, also gives you the resize tool, I think is only under that that pro uh, subscription with Canva. So make sure you get that. Um, it's a tax write off. So you go ahead and get that. But anyhow, just wanted to give you guys an idea of kind of how I set up and like to stay organized. So this again, like I said, is my wedding template. So you can see. Um, some of the ones that I create, depending on if a client wants something very basic to ones that want more elaborate um, for wedding. I love florals and, and things like these, these templates here that take different shapes and uh, put some flowers on there. So these are some of the variations that I sent out that my client didn't like. So I'll keep these all. Um, obviously, the ones that I use, I'll delete, um, but I'll keep these. So next go round, I'll always, I'll, I'll, excuse me, already have some ideas to play around with. Um, this is one of the ones that I'm proud of. I just used this weekend, actually, uh, because actually all I had was this arch here, and I found these letters um, in, a, in an existing template, which is going to show you how to do that here in a second. And I just kind of pulled it together. Like I look, I like the font. Um, I, I added the arch. Uh, the, the client wanted different shades of purple, so I just pulled in some purple flowers and kind of laid them over that arch there. And then I had an idea of kind of having a border that was kind of elegant, you know. And so I looked up borders and I found these and kind of brought it all together. So 
this this template is probably more more creative than I usually am because a lot of times I just steal from Canva or steal from <laughs> other folks' ideas. Um, but again, like I said, there's no reason why you can't create your own templates and hop in Canva and and be done in like five or ten minutes. Um, so that is that one. Oops, sorry. So I'm gonna hop over here and say as if I am creating a new design, starting from scratch. Say that's you. So we're gonna go ahead and do, like I said, the um, 10, 1072 by 1072. And right now I do not have my mouse. So this is gonna be the most inconvenient way to manipulate Canva, but it also shows you how easy it is that you can do this. Cause you can download Canva, the app on your phone, which sometimes I do to create things. You can do this literally with the touchpad on your MacBook. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So let me move my face somewhere else really quick. I'm gonna move myself up top. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. Typically what I do, whatever the type of event is, I'll go here into design and search templates. So you can already see there's templates up here um, if we want to do new year, for instance. Look at this. This already has plenty of templates that I can easily pull from and tweak as I like. Uh, so say we do something I don't know. That one's, um, say we do this one. This one here, because I like this little border here at the top. So typically what I'll do, and this has some things that I like in here. I like to have my name kind of bordering here. And I'm going to Yep, so I'll change that to whatever my name is. I just like to have my name on my, my overlays because to me it's free advertising, right? So I'm posting my own videos at the end of the events and then as customers post them, again, people will see at Magical Moments. So whatever your name is, you know, I always, I would flip that in there. And then you can or don't have to necessarily use the font. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But um, this one here, I would see no reason to change it. Um, we could do something like that here. Probably would flip that. Oops. Um, I could do something like that here, but you always want to make sure that trend that you can have that transparent background. So that is. That is just a color. There is no background there. So if we went white, you would still be able to see it. Um, so that's fine. And literally, I mean, that's it. Like you can get really jazzy with different things, add elements. So like sometimes if you want to add something to make it a little bit more customized, maybe add it some fireworks. I mean, you can literally do that if you want it. Jazz it up, you know. I use a duplicate button a lot, you know, add some stuff here and there to jazz this up and uh, that's all you really need to do. A lot of times I will ask the customer what their color scheme is. So in addition to say they have a theme, um, if that theme doesn't have a specific color scheme, I might say, well, what colors are your event? So I might tweak these here. Gold and silver is a pretty, you know, basic color for, for new year. Um, you know, there's different font options in here. If I wanted to delete that and use this, cause I like this font a little bit better. Um, I could do that. I just try to make sure I don't take up too much landscape, but literally, I mean, I don't, I don't think guys, it gets any easier than this. Like this literally took me two minutes to create and it's plenty of other things in here, you know, like even if I went back and created something else off of a, uh, off of another one, I mean, so many things in here. One thing I will note that you do have to be careful that again, that it's, it's a background is not included. It's a background like this one is a background. So obviously I can't use this. Um, unless I did something like this and made it like a border, which again, you could get very creative. You could make this a border around the outside. Do this, duplicate it, flip it around, you know, <laughs> like, like literally guys, this is how easy this is. I don't, I don't think it gets any easier than this. I would move this down to probably 40. Same here. 
I probably would add 2023 somewhere on here. Put my name. And that's it. I mean, guys, this, this stuff is, is really not, it's not that hard. Um, so, and I'm hoping that what I showed you kind of would make it easier for you. But anyhow, we are going to stop there. All right, y'all. So that's it for today. I hope uh, what we shared with you guys was helpful. Um, please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything that wasn't kind of clear in the process that I, I took. I did want to do a separate kind of overview on touch picks just because, I mean, if I did touch picks and camera together, it would be a very long video. So I do plan to come back in the future and give you guys an overlay or um, an overview, excuse me, of touch picks and kind of, you know, setting up the whole event in touch picks and kind of what I do. And I most recently actually did an event using Snapix. So I'm very, I was very excited about that and hope to, in the near future, give you guys an overview on that as well. Uh, so with that, I want to let you guys go. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you on the next video.